Hello, Lakers fans. Welcome to Los Angeles Lakers News Today. Before we dive into today's exciting update, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest Lakers news. The Los Angeles Lakers have confirmed their interest in adding a center next to Anthony Davis for the 2024-25 NBA season. New head coach JJ Redick made this desire public while speaking to the media. Unfortunately, the Lakers haven't been able to acquire targets such as Jonas Valanciunas, with the free agent center market drying up very quickly this summer. To address this, the Lakers will need to explore trade options to strengthen their center rotation. Currently, neither Jackson Hayes nor Christian Wood are considered strong enough to play a major role in the rotation for a team with championship ambition. As a result, they might look to the Atlanta Hawks to acquire a veteran center. Trade details, Los Angeles Lakers receive Clint Capella, Atlanta Hawks receive Jared Vanderbilt, Gabe Vincent, 2027 second round pick, LAL. This trade would open up a starting center spot for Onyeka Okonwu on the Hawks, while giving them a versatile defender in Jared Vanderbilt. Meanwhile, the Lakers not only add Capella but also free up a roster spot. The Lakers hit two birds with one stone. The Lakers have worked tirelessly this summer to create roster spots for acquiring free agents, but have struggled because there's been little interest in their end-of-rotation players, Wood, Hayes, or Cam Reddish. Releasing these players would still impact the Lakers' salary cap, hampering their ability to further strengthen the roster for a title push. Acquiring Capella not only meets their need for a center— but also opens up a roster spot for another potential signing. Pella averaged 11.5 points, 10.6 rebounds, and 1.5 blocks last season. While he may not be the explosive lob threat he once was, he's still a solid starting center who can rebound effectively and pair with Anthony Davis to create a formidable frontcourt. The Hawks have been trying to move Capella, making this deal easier for the Lakers to execute. With Redick emphasizing the need for a big, bruising center, Pella fits the bill perfectly. Given the Lakers' alternatives are limited, making this trade without sacrificing a first-round pick is a smart move to improve the roster. The Hawks continue retooling around Trey Young. When the Hawks acquired Clint Capella in 2021, the hope was that he would be a long-term lob partner for Trey Young. However, Capella's performance has declined, and backup big man Onyeka Okonwu has earned more playing time but has been blocked by Capella. Moving Capella gives Okonwu a better chance to shine and helps the Hawks balance their team. Jared Vanderbilt is a versatile defender who averaged 5.2 points and 4.8 rebounds last season. Although injuries and offensive limitations affected his development with the Lakers, a healthy season could see Vanderbilt significantly boost the Hawks' defense with his ability to defend guards and protect the rim. Gabe Vincent might not be a major addition for the Hawks, but he could provide some rotational minutes. Last season, Vincent averaged 3.1 points and 1.9 assists in 11 games due to injuries. Both teams move forward. This deal allows both the Hawks and Lakers to progress in building their teams for the upcoming season. Pella's role has diminished with the Hawks, and the Lakers clearly need a center like him. The Hawks get a valuable young player in Vanderbilt, who could thrive under coach Quinn Snyder making this a win-win situation. The Lakers have faced challenges with Vanderbilt's injuries and limited offensive game on a roster already struggling with scoring. The Hawks have the offensive firepower to accommodate Vanderbilt, while the Lakers get a better fitting player for J.J. Redick's new strategy. To Lakers fans, what do you think about this potential trade for Clint Capella? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Los Angeles Lakers News today for more updates. Go Lakers!